everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome to the penultimate episode of my Python Place Terraria Let's Play. We're on the 49th episode, my friends. We have ourselves a bit of a problem in that we have ourselves a bit of a blood moon going on. But that won't stop us from getting on with what we need to get on with today. We are going to be, of course, taking the form of a mage. So we're going to be putting on the nebula armor. We are going to be grabbing out all of these magic weapons and, of course... Our magical accessories, the Armoured Manor Flower, and the Guarding Celestial Emblem. I would not mind getting something a little bit better on both of them. Also, I've got 10% increased damage, but then if I put that on, it's 15% increased magic damage. Obviously, combined, it'll be 25%, but I don't really have that, do I? And, of course, the Manor Flower's got to be very, very useful. Uh, I'm going to put it there. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, that's just a bunch of guys who want to kill me, and it's rather annoying, because I want to get on with the episode. <laughs> God damn it! And I haven't got the blooming ability to skip it either because I've used it within the last seven days, the Enchanted Sundial. So, yeah. Since the last episode, my friends, I have actually gone ahead and I've completed the wall of subscribers. As you can see, they are all now up there. Any of you guys who have been shouted out for the question of the video segment have been put up there. There's no question of the video for the rest of the series today and the finale because I want to be focusing entirely on the action. And in today's episode, I want to address something. So, yeah. But while we're doing that, my friends, we have ourselves a bit of a mission. I would like to try and get... All the heart containers and all the life fruits as I possibly can. We need 15 life fruits. No, 15 heart containers and then 20 life fruits in order for you guys, when you get the map download, to increase your characters up to maximum health. So, yeah. And, of course, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make these right now because, you know, I can. So, yeah. When it comes to the map download, you guys will be able to go ahead and get your characters straight up to max. And everything will be Awesome! So, let's chuck away a bunch of stuff, because frankly, we don't need a lot of it. Uh, oh, we're picking stuff up all over the place, aren't we? <laughs> but, yeah, we are going to be putting on a drill containment unit, my friends, and we are going to be going on a bit of a spelunky lunky session. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and go straight to the jungle and get on with this thing. So, yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Oh, hello, regular mimic. Oh, he's dead. Ha, huh, that was quick. Alrighty guys, here we go. Literally all we're doing is looking for life fruits and heart containers. So hopefully this shouldn't be too difficult. Obviously the drill containment unit is making absolute mincemeat of the world. We don't even need to do any like proper digging around. It's pretty damn crazy. Ah, oh, 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 hold on. Can you not use weapons while you're inside it? Eh, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. So it's not OP, I guess. But yeah. Alright guys, look at this man, we're getting a whole bunch of stuff. This is going to be easy as hell, basically. Oh! nuh -uh, son! Wow, that's actually kind of dangerous. That's kind of dangerous to use as that. Hmm, alright man. Uh oh, let's stay away from the danger. Away from the danger. I don't want to be getting on the wrong side of these peeps. Uh, I also don't want to be getting on the wrong side of Plantera, but thank you very much. So let's try and avoid that, shall we? Ah, there we go, my friends. 15 life crystals and 22 life fruits. I've got to say, man, the draw containment unit is just the most ridiculous thing in the entire world. It's definitely something worth saving up for and, of course, making. So, yeah, I strongly advise you go ahead and get it. But, yeah, we really don't need to be here anymore. So, let's head back. There we go. If we can actually do that, it'd be fantastic. There we go. Quick stack all the things. We think we've got ourselves a bunch of silt and everything, man. God damn. Bunch of statues. Uh, well, one statue anyway. We've got a heart statue. Kind of decent. Put that away. And yeah, we have ourselves these things right here. I'm going to go ahead and favor them. And obviously, when it comes to the end of the series, I'll put them in a chest ready for you guys. So, yeah. We good up in here, son. We good. Right. Uh, lesser valuable blocks. Let's go ahead and uh, organize these things in lead a bit. We really don't need that much in the way of mud. So, I'm just going to chuck these out. I'm going to chuck the blocks out as well. Uh, we already have quite a heck of a lot of stone, so we're going to chuck that out. And the silt blocks, uh, why not, man? Let's just go ahead and uh, quickly extract it all, man. There we go, my friends. Just a few walls here and there, which I guess is kind of awesome. Uh, where's the walls chest? There it is. All right, chuck all that stuff in there. There we go. Look at the amount of walls we have now. It's so nice. It's so nice. All right, so moving on. Uh, I would like to go ahead and make a bunch of mech boss summoners so we could do what we did in the last episode and just take down a whole bunch of bosses at the same time. I think that'd be kind of cool to do again, uh, just to see how good the mage set really is. So I need to go ahead and grab out all the limbs that I have. 
There we go, lenses. All right, cool. And then I need to go ahead and get a bunch of bars out. So let's just grab, uh, let's just grab that stack out right there. And then I need to go ahead and get myself some more souls of night. Should be too difficult, right? Uh, so the hollow is pretty much below me. So we need to go pretty much down here. So yeah, let's go get some souls, shall we? Hey, that was pretty damn easy, my friends. We've got ourselves all the souls that we need. I believe we should be able to make all three summoners. So there we go. Mechanical skull, mechanical worm, and of course, the mechanical eye. Fantastic. All right, let's put the rest of that in the boss summoner's chest, because quite frankly, that is where they belong. I have not been able to decide where things belong in this world for such a long time. That's kind of crazy. All right, now then. Uh, how much gold do we have? We have two platinum coins. I feel like I should be able to go ahead and get a decent uh, reforge. On my two magical accessories because armored, I don't think that'd be as good as damage, for example. So let's go ahead and give these babies a whirl. I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can get on this thing. Uh, precise, menacing, fantastic, exactly what I want. So we're going from 174 on that up to 196. Oh, that's what I said. Total of 90% increased damage, isn't it? My bad. I was like, wait, what the hell? That seems a bit extortionate. <laughs> there we go, menacing on that as well, so we're going from 196 damage up to 196 damage. Oh, they're both menacing, that's why. Duh. Uh, we've got some uh, lesser mana usage as well, which I guess is kind of awesome. So, 10 mana, 15 mana, and if we put that on, it's 9 and 13. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, man. Do you know what would be nice? It would be nice if I could reforge my last prism. And maybe get, like, Celestial or something. Something that makes it use less mana? No, no, no. Demonic again? Oh, we're playing with fire. <laughs> really shouldn't play with fire, should I? God damn it. Right, okay. So, in terms of things I still want to get, I still want to farm out pirate invasions, okay? The reason why I want to do that is because I would really, really... Really like to make the greedy ring because I've never done it before and I think it's about time So I think for the rest of this day We're gonna head over to the ocean biome and see if we can't get ourselves a little something something again Ah oh, yeah, buddy got me a pirate map my friends awesome awesome stuff. All right, let's get this thing going straight away Shall we hmm should we try to defeat them? Hmm. I feel like purposely not Oh, I should have done it later, shouldn't I? That would have been a better idea. I was thinking of purposely not doing it until I uh, spawned in the mech bosses just again so we can see just how badass these things are. Ha! <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome! Alrighty, guys, here we go! They've just spawned in, so I guess without further ado, we have some things to do. Here we go! Oh my god, I don't know how this is gonna go. What the hell?! The destroyer just got absolutely destroyed in a matter of milliseconds. Uh, I was not expecting that. Uh, well, we're almost getting five digits uh, damage per second right here, which is just like the most stupidest thing in the entire world. Skeletron Prime is defeated. Now it's going to take down this pansy. <laughs> Holy crap! I was not expecting the mage stuff to be this ridiculous. Well, uh, I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. That is a stupid amount of stuff we just got right there. Uh, increased life regen, 45% increased damage. Mother of God, that's a lot of increase. Well, uh, yeah. I was not expecting that. I was noticing a thousand damage bits there, and they weren't even crit. A thousand eight hundred and forty-eight crit damage I saw right there, folks. I actually saw four-digit crit damage. Dude, this is just the stupidest thing ever. 2,700 crit damage. What? <laughs> what? Just what? What the heck? Just, I don't even know what to say right now, man. We have got, like, some of the most ridiculous weapons I think I've ever had. 286 regular damage, 2,700 crit damage I'm seeing again. Just what? I, I just don't know what to say right now, man. Other than mage. Bloody hell. <laughs> just just that. Just that. Just bloody hell. 2,850 crit damage. Mother of God. I have never seen that high crit damage before. Obviously, I think the banners are uh, coming into effect. That's obviously why I'm getting increased damage by default. But my God. Just my God. That's ridiculous. Okay, so... 
no sign of any... You know, we're going to be able to take this guy down in a few seconds flat, hopefully. Do -do 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 -do. And he is done. Still no sign of a lucky coin, though, folks. Sure would be awesome if we could get one. Come on, man. Come on. I wonder how many invasions it actually take for me to take these guys. Or to get the lucky coin more to the point. You know? Because, I don't know. I saw 3,000 crit damage right there. What the hell? I wonder what the actual crit damage multiplier is. Because that's one thing I really don't know. Uh, let's take down this thing. Oh. Well, uh... That that was uh, that was the most difficult pirate fight I think I've ever had, man. Oh, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe how powerful mage gear on this is is on this game. I thought the razor pine was good in one point two. That isn't even a like a dent in the shadow of the awesomeness that is the one point three mage stuff. Just, oh my god. The pirates have been defeated. We're not even halfway through the damn night yet, folks. That's what the most astounding thing is. But, just, oh my god. That is literally all I have to say, my friends. Oh my god. It's just the most ridiculous thing ever. The last prism took down the destroyer in a matter of milliseconds. Meanwhile, everybody else just got destroyed, like, just so quickly. It's just ridiculous. Wow, okay, just, just, wow. Right, now then, moving on. I would like to try and find the stylist, because I think by finding the stylist, I should be able to get the achievement real estate. So, do we have any spider biomes? Uh, I remember in one of my worlds, I had spider biomes literally everywhere. I don't appear to be able to see any at the moment. That might be something I have to go ahead and explore underground for. I mean, I guess... I don't know, man. I don't see any underground. Did we even come across any of this series? Yeah, I'm literally not seeing any. Right, okay, so we have a bit of a thing to do now. We have to go ahead, organize our inventory, and then try and find the stylist. So yeah, let's do that. Alrighty, guys. Looks like I found myself a spider biome at long last. You can pretty much see the route I went with my draw containment unit to get here. So, yeah. All we need to do now is hope and pray that we manage to find ourselves a stylist. Because I don't know where she'd be. They normally spawn in here somewhere. Oh, a coin portal. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All right, uh, now then. Stylist. Where you at, buddy? Uh, maybe if I sort of hang around this place, she might spawn in sometime. I don't know if that... Uh, I don't know if that's how it works, but that's that's how I'm going to assume it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and hover around here, hopefully, until she spawns in. Aha! Webbed stylist! Apparently, it comes up on the rare creature detector. Brilliant! Okay, so I believe all I need to do is dig her out. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, there we go, apparently. Got ourselves all the peeps. I'm pretty sure that's all of the NPCs I can get without the special ones being in. Uh, but yeah, we go. All the hair dyes that we can possibly want. Uh, we should be able to get ourselves the achievement pretty soon, if we don't have it already. Which, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure if we do or not. Uh, oh my god, i got so much stuff, including the poison staff and all kinds of other jazz. I'm just going to chuck it in here at this point, because I've just got so much stuff on me. It's, like, so ridiculous, it really is. Alright, so the final thing I want to do this episode, my friends, is simply go to the dungeon, defeat the cultists, and then, of course, defeat the Moonlord. Hopefully, cheeselessly. So, yeah, let's go over to the cultists, shall we? Alrighty, guys, here we go! All of y'all can get killed! There we go, 266 crit damage. Gotta love it, man, gotta love it. Alright, we're gonna have ourselves a combination of Nebula Arcanums, and also, we're gonna be using the Last Prism along with it, so... Uh, yeah, that wasn't a whole bunch of damage or anything. <laughs> Not a whole bunch of damage at all. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'll tell you what, the last prism, you have to be pretty accurate with it at the start anyway. Come on, let's keep it going. I'm just going to take everybody out. There we go. Get destroyed, son. Ha, <laughs> lol. All right, now we've got to take down all the pillars, my friends. And I guess while we're doing this, I just want to go over the thing I wanted to address in that uh, cheesing Moonlord fight, or cheesing any fights. You guys have got to learn to leave people alone. For those of you, I'm obviously addressing those of you who are like, oh my god, you cheesed the fight, you bloody suck. 
The reason why I get so annoyed with this personally is because I play this game to have fun, okay? I play this game to have fun. I really don't care how people think or how people want me to take things down. Because if there's one thing I've learned about the Terraria community, mostly as a whole, and of course, again, I'm just addressing those of you who are sort of a bit more sort of naysaying, I guess. Those of you who like to sort of criticize my every single move. Basically... There's one thing I've learned is that the Terraria community as as a sort of general entity is very, very competitive. And as a result of that, I feel like it gets to the stage sometimes where if I don't do something your guys' way, I'm doing it wrong and therefore you're going to send me flame comments. So, I'm saying this on behalf of all Terraria YouTubers out there. Please respect our decisions to play the game how we want to play, okay? Because at the end of the day... That's what doing YouTube is about, okay? It's about wanting to have fun, playing games, providing commentaries, and all that kind of jazz. And the fact that some of you guys, like I said, some of you guys... The fact that some of you guys just want to go ahead and just crap on our day by saying that we're doing everything wrong... And just proceeding to be a complete arse about it, you know, that's not a very nice way of going about things. So, like I said, I'm saying this on behalf of all Terraria YouTubers, please... Just, just be a bit more respectful, okay? We like to play this game because we like to have fun. We don't want to be playing games just so you guys can go ahead and criticize us in such a way that you're making us feel like, well, idiots. Like, we're feeling bad about ourselves because, again, that's not really how we want to play games. So, that's basically what I, what I wanted to address. If people want to cheese fights, they can cheese fights. And the fact of the matter is, it, no one, no one deserves to be criticized for the way they take on fights or do anything like that. I mean, to be honest, cheesing, whoever invented that term, they are horrible. They shouldn't have done it, man. They should not have invented that word, cheesing fight, because it's just, it's just horrible. I don't like it, man. I really don't like it. It's among, like, the words I detest the most, because, I don't know. Like I said, we like to play games because we like to have fun. We don't want to be criticized all the damn time by people who are saying, Oh, you're choosing the fight. Oh, you should play Terraria this way. Oh, you should play Terraria that way. So, please, again, just respect that everybody has their own play styles. And please respect the fact that we want to play our own style as well. So, yeah. Hopefully, that message sort of resonates and uh, gets somewhere. If not, then, oh, man. Uh, but... You know, it's it's just in the more recent Terraria episodes of mine that I've been feeling this way, you know, that, that I'm doing everything wrong or that you guys are just going to criticize every single move I do. Now, obviously, one thing I will clarify is the fact that, yes, I do appreciate those of you guys out there who are going ahead and, you know, leaving helpful suggestions and not being asses about it because that's really appreciated. That's, that's why pe people, you know, do gaming YouTube. You know, they want to they want to have good feedback. They want to be able to learn from their mistakes. But by being an ass about it, you honestly think that's going to make people want to play the game more? No. In fact, you're doing the complete opposite. You're making people want to play the game less. So, yeah. Again, this is more for those of you guys who are naysayers and who like to criticize people. And obviously, I am well aware and I very much do appreciate the fact that there are a lot of you guys out there who are, of course, you know, very supportive, of course. And I really do appreciate it. Don't ever think that I don't appreciate it because I do. But obviously, Psychology 101 will tell us that if 1,000 people shake your hand and one person slaps you in the face, the person you're going to remember is the person who slaps you in the face. It's, it's just how it is. It really is. I mean, again, it's nothing against anyone in particular, but it's just a generic thing I wanted to address. You know, cheesing fights and respecting people's opinions and respecting people's, you know, abilities to play the game the way they want. So, you know, again, on behalf of, well, all Toronto YouTubers and all YouTubers, up, YouTubers out there, just please, you know, just, just be a bit more considerate, okay? You don't need to be sending in hate comments or calling people dumb because they don't know something, you know, just, just, just be nice about it, okay? Be nice about it and then everybody will have a good day and it'll be a very nice community to be a part of, so... Yeah, and again, once again, I do want to thank you guys who are very, very supportive and who do leave very helpful suggestions in the comments area. You have no idea how much I do appreciate it, so yeah. If it wasn't for you guys, then my strength for doing YouTube would just go down the drain, okay? So if it wasn't for you guys, you know, then I'd be having a, a, a very much sort of difficult time, you know, getting this thing done. So yeah, it is you guys who are supportive out there that, that, that make me want to keep doing this, so... Yeah, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. But aside from that, my friends, 
you know, ranting over. I want to go ahead and continue doing this thing so we can take down the Moon Lord, hopefully, cheeselessly. So, yeah, I'm going to continue getting these pillars taken down. So, yeah, I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, guys, that's the final pillar taken down right there. So, all we need to do now is take down the Moon Lord. I've got to say, the Blooming Nebula armor is... It has to be the most OP armor I think I've ever come across. It just keeps spawning these little power-up things. It's just the most ridiculous thing ever. It really is. There's no other word for it. It's just so crazy. <laughs> it so is. All right, so let's move on over to uh, there to get ourselves some more magic uh, damage. And yeah, we're going to see if we can't go ahead and do this thing. Hopefully, by hitting the Moon Lord a whole bunch of times, he should spawn a bunch of power-ups and thus, uh, hopefully, a bunch of regen. So... Yeah, we're hopefully going to use a combination of all of these weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and put some clouds down right here. Here we go. And yeah, and uh, just further on to the thing I was mentioning before, I just want to make it clear that I'm not having a go at anybody. It's more of a sort of PSA because it's not only my channel that I notice the sort of hate and sort of sort of hateful criticizing comments on. You know, I do notice it on other people's channels too. So again, like I said, it's on behalf of uh, pretty much everybody. So yeah. Let's get on with this thing, friendos. We've got ourselves a Moon Lord fight to do. I'm just hoping that we can actually do this thing. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping we can do it. Alright, come on. Let's see how this thing will go. Do -do 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 -do. Okie dokie. There we go. Oh, wow. I did a whole crap ton of damage, friendos. Oh my god, look at all the power-ups around here. You know, I might as well just keep this thing, like, constantly going. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Here right, we go. How's this going to do? Oh, and all the damage. There we go. How's the eye doing? Eye is down. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. This uh, this might just be the quickest Moon Lord fight in the world. There we go. And now we've got to take down his chest. I'm using... <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the stupidest thing ever. Oh, God. We're about to die, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, just about... Wow. Well, okay. Further confirmation that the last prism is, in fact, probably the best made weapon in the entire world. Right, now then. What damage, sir? Uh, what, what weapon did we get? It is the question. SDMG? Oh, we got another last prism. Dang it, man. We're still looking for the SDMG because it literally is the last weapon I can get from the moon or the last sort of uh, unique weapon I can get. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, the mage set. So far, my favourite, in all honesty. It is by far and away so far my favourite out of the three that I've tried so far. But obviously, the final episode is going to be The Warrior. So, hopefully, you guys are looking forward to that. But aside from that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And, of course, you can subs subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Oh, my God. But, yeah, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I very much do appreciate your continued support. And I will see you guys on the finale of Python Place Terraria. See you guys later.